We're tracking big new information tonight surrounding the discovery of lead at the Carrier's Indianapolis facility. We've been following the story for you for months, and now our Call 6 Investigates team confirmed Carrier knew about the problem for years. Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez joins us with a story you will see only on RTV6. Erica, good evening. Carrier says that worker safety is priority one, so workers want to undergo blood testing to rule out any lead contamination. They also believe that they should get protective gear or get moved elsewhere if safety is a priority. Dwayne Lively often rides this sweeper inside the carrier warehouse. It picks up the lead dust that is somehow blowing into the building. The source has yet to be determined. Are you concerned at all that now that you're talking about it, that they may come after you and say... If they do, they do. They're going to Mexico anyway. What have I got to lose? I'm just exposing the truth. Dwayne and his co-workers met with company leaders to discuss the recent state investigation. IOSHA found a serious lead violation inside the warehouse. While the state tells us it has no record of any previous complaints for the past five years, Call 6 Investigates obtained this email chain from carrier managers from July to August of 2014. The main topic, employees at that time were not exposed to excessive levels of lead. Though the emails raised concerns about three or four corner samples in the warehouse, which exceeded the acceptable level of lead per foot. I hope that carrier follows through and, and would get, get those people out of the, out of the warehouse and, and do a thorough cleaning of the warehouse and investigation to find out where this lead's coming from. The state says it won't require carrier workers to undergo blood testing because the lead levels were below what would demand medical monitoring. Duane went to a lab and paid for a lead test. He hopes the $60 he spent will bring him peace of mind, though he says he's still concerned about his current work environment. You blow black bus dust out of your nose and you cough it up and everything. It's, it's just everywhere. And I've been cleaning it up with a, a scrubber and the next day it's all right back here on the floor again. A tonight carrier tells me its new plan will include new equipment as well as cleaning procedures. The company says it's been testing the air in that warehouse since 2012. Now, the company does not believe that blood testing is appropriate given the current test results are below state standards. The state could not comment if any nearby companies are being investigated for the release of the lead dust that appears to be the leading cause of this problem. Jason? Keep us updated. Thank you, Rafael. Meanwhile